So we just kind of went over what's going on on PC Europe and ESO. I'm going to kind of go over, I guess, or react to something going on in the content space. I saw some tweets about it and might as well become a React Dandy again and uh, react to this video. It's actually uh, created a video created by a familiar face, a previous ESOE podcast guest, Horcrux, if you guys remember him. Um, and, the, and the video title is called Developers Betray the Elder Scrolls Online Community. It's quite the bold title. Um, and it's talking about the state of ESO. So we'll see well, how what 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 core crux means by de uh, the developers betraying the Elder Scrolls Online community or the ESO community. Okay. Hey, what is going on, ladies and gentlemen? Hello. If you click on this video, you are curious about the state of the Elder Scrolls Online 2023 post Necron patch. You know, with the Arcanist. Oh, one second here. Let me. I Whoa, hold, on, hold, on, hold on. I too also played Back for Blood. <laughs> and they put the plug on it. I feel really sad about that. And I just will never trust that studio ever again, man. Um, but yeah. The Arcanist. Oh, one second here. Let me. Oh, there oh, we go. Whoa, 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 whoa. No way. <laughs> oh, now we don't have this problem anymore. All right. All I right. All complete. You know what? All Actually, right. the. Like, I looked at my space the other day, and I realized how much space ESO takes up on my computer. Because I have PTS and Live. It's like 97 gigabytes per client. So I have, like, almost 200 gigabytes taken up on my computer by ESO. So it is sometimes tempting for me to just uninstall the PTS at least when I'm not using it. But I'm just like, man, I have to re-download it anyway. So whatever. I'll have to deal with it. Deal. Now we can actually get into it's probably, the It probably feels really free uh, we getting rid of 200 about. gigabytes. So, um, if you guys do not know me, hi, I'm Horcrux, okay. Crux, Josh, Hello. whatever you want to call me. You know, whatever. I remember. Reason, right? um, I've played ESO since beta. Okay. Uh, literally beta. Uh, I started mm -hmm. out on PC. I yes. had a really crap PC at the time. I swapped over to console. I played way back, you know, when there's better rings, V14 rings. I've had a lot of experience in ESO, and here as of late, the past couple of years, I've actually started making a channel okay. and producing content for the, the game I love, The Elder Scrolls Online. And what has been a really fun ride, um, the identity of The Elder Scrolls Online has changed vastly over the amount of years that I have played this. ESO started out okay. being the PvP MMO. This is where all the PvP people will come, and this this is what the game was portrayed as and what it was sold as, and they delivered. It was the best experience I've ever had in any game that I have ever played to this date. And I'm very nostalgic yeah. and very grateful okay. for those memories that I've had in the past. And it was such a phenomenal time. I cannot reiterate what a good game it was. Now, well, for I don't know if it's like a blend of nostalgia or whatever, but like, uh, I think ESO in general as a game in terms of its systems have improved vastly. A lot of people always like come by Twitch chat or just like ask me, um, like on other platforms, like, hey, what do you think about the ESO classic, like a WoW classic? And I just think to myself, no. <laughs> Like, you know, he, he mentioned vet ranks, he mentioned all that kind of stuff. I'm just like, nah, I'm good. You know what I mean? Like, I think ESO has a general game, like just to, not specifically for PvPers or whatever, has improved, at least in terms of its systems. It's gotten less grindy. It's gotten, I don't know, just like better quality of life improvements over, added over time. And yes, he's right. It was marketed as a PvP game um, initially. And that's also the reason why it came over to ESO as well. Because I, I was like enthralled by the idea of an open world PvP game, or like sort of some sort of like uh, Elder Scrolls themed PvP game, where you like you envision kind of these armies of players and stuff. And of course, uh, for a time, it was pretty good, at least from that PvP perspective. From a general game perspective, as an MMO, it I think was nightmarish looking back on it. We are going to. I'm not going to explain the timeline to you guys, but uh, we will fast forward to now. Okay. I'm not going to explain the term events. Okay. Right now, the state of ESO is the worst it has ever been. 
it is not a dying game it is a dead game it is a dead the game the pvp okay. community has been completely abandoned actually eso the community has been abandoned in general i will touch on that in just a moment okay. and you should feel very offended about where the game is now compared to what it used to be and what the promises was thereof or where this game would be in the next decade from launch so there is no Wait, pvp is in this game anymore what is that I need a wine expert in here. Becca. <laughs> is that white? Or is that... What is that? What drink is that? I'm so curious. It, it has a frog um, on it. I don't think that's wine. Is it uh, wine? It looks no, like a wine bottle. Actually. Whiskey? I have no idea. Anyway. I was that's what, like I wasn't sure if it was maybe whiskey at first. But there is, but it has not gotten any love in four, five years. Mm -hmm. It is so bad that when you go into the community live streams, um, you know, showing off the new chapters and, and the new bells and whistles, you were actually banned for saying anything PvP related. Yes, you're banned from their chat for saying anything PvP, 1v1, if you spell it out P-E-E, P-E-E, A-V-A, V-A. I think they fixed that pretty sure after, what was it? Was it, was it Fire Song or... God, I forget. It was like last year. Was like it was happening. Like if you type PEP in mm -hmm. chat, you were timed out or banned. Mm -hmm. um, or like the auto filter would get you in their Twitch chat settings. So even yeah. I typed PVP out as PE, I think VE yeah. space PE, and I got caught by the auto filter. Not banned or anything or timed out, but I got caught by the auto filter. So that that is true. But I think recently they've kind of like fix that i've seen people mention pvp in their live stream chats and they didn't get banned or anything i have seen people do get timed out for constantly spamming it especially during a stream where it's like completely unrelated to like the combat in you so like there there was a stream where like they were cooking i think gina and jessica were cooking <laughs> you know it's like some people were like oh when are you going to fix pvp yeah. i'm like mm -hmm. i understand like completely the feeling behind that behind doing that but like i don't really understand bringing it up on that kind of particular setting personally mm -hmm. i just don't lines it doesn't matter they will so i don't, I don't know if... for even talking about pvp which is a complete 180 to what this game was portrayed as okay um is that's not good that's that's a community thing. You go on the forums, any PvP bug posts are usually buried or even removed from the forums. So, yes, PvP players such as myself, I am a diehard PvP fan and content creator. That's all I do in this game. Yes, I have done amalgamation of other things. I have done quite a bit, actually. I've okay. done pretty much everything there is to offer in ESO again and again and again and again. And in this video, I'm going to kind of explain some Everything of the systems new. that have completely robbed the enjoyment from me and many others from or like everything you want to do. online. I think there's a difference. First off, you guys may know. I think there's a big difference. The, the infamous horse armor in Oblivion. Horse it's armor. The first microtransaction. The I mean, there, there's <laughs> oh, a maple okay. story when you're next on whatever, but <laughs> I was like, the infamous horse armor, horse armor in Oblivion was the first microtransaction okay. for five dollars. You got some cosmetics yes, for your horse. Yes, sure. One All of right. the so, first or keep that in mind. This was the very first you know franchise whatever to have these microtransactions available in their game. Okay. ESO right now is the biggest cash grab of any uh, even more so than gotcha games in my opinion than, than any game really on the market and that's a bold claim i know and i'm gonna get a lot of heat for that in the comments more than gotcha claim games um i don't know i think that. it's two different systems we're talking about here mm -hmm. so even i don't know i think in terms of profits too judging from genshin impact i feel like they make more money <laughs> than ESO. <laughs> But it's also two different systems of monetization, I feel yeah. like. But the amount of, okay. ooh, how do I say, pay for convenience. Pay for convenience. In yeah, this game sure. is There's astronomical. A lot. Absolutely. The yes. game over the years, but where are his charts? Online, has been designed in a... Is his what? What did you say? I need charts. Oh I need my data. God. Are you are you bringing that up right now? <laughs> <Jeez. laughs> Sorry. Uh, I... I Anyway, whatever. <laughs> you wait, just so, you That's know, pretty funny you brought that up. Bypass some things. For example, uh, ESO Plus, you now get a craft bag and double the inventory space in your bank. Without that, you cannot play the game. 
Yes, uh, you can play it. It is technically free to play. But you cannot efficiently or enjoyably play the game without this extra inventory space. Rich Lambert, even when questioned about this on stream, laughed and said, yeah, <laughs> that is, you know, one of the pluses of ESO Plus, And that's why we'll, they will never sell you the craft bag itself, because without the craft bag, you are screwed in this game. If you plan on spending any time at all, any of your immersive years, you know, I know a lot of us are middle aged men. We got families, you know, we can toss three, you know, four hours. So there's there's actual YouTube guys on how to manage your inventory spaces without ESO Plus. I think there's like a, quite a few of them. And I know personally a lot of people who don't have ESO Plus and can still play so the game efficiently. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. but I do get his maybe like wait, wait. point about that shouldn't be monetized. But at the same time, when you think about ESO Plus, um, there was a, actually ESO Plus never had the craft bag um, from the start. So they, they actually added the craft bag, I think in 20, was it late 2014 or early 2015? Somewhere around there. Um, and I just think to myself, well, if there wasn't a craft bag incentive with ESO Plus or like anything like that, what would, what would the point of ESO Plus be? Right. Like if it weren't for the craft bag, I wouldn't have it. Right. That's so it's sure. like... But <laughs> it's the convenience. It's not because I can't you know manage to play the game without it it's a matter of convenience okay yeah i mean i, I get the sentiment yeah, but i don't know what else you put on the eso plus thing like mm -hmm. they already i don't know it's just like what else really maybe there's ideas out yeah. there people can pitch but you mm -hmm. have to admit it makes sense to a degree at least from the financial perspective of the company Mm -hmm. hours you know day week you know whatever your circumstance if you want to invest your time also, in this game a lot of us are middle-aged men without... i don't know about that <laughs> uh, excuse plus. me uh, what no he said a lot of us are middle-aged no, gamers dads like, i'm just like me. you know because i don't know about that don't being fun anyways. Anyways. Right? no he said a lot not everybody now getting players to come back to this game. Um, let me give you guys an example. Okay. This was a huge issue about a year ago about increasing the fan base of bringing um, mm -hmm. Cypher PK back to stream the game to increase its awareness and popularity. Sponsorship. Also bringing back Beware, AKA Lulu Lovely, to come back and play ESO in hopes of driving players back to the Elder Scrolls Online. Mm -hmm. Now, that is good. That is the greatest move that Zoss could possibly done because the success of your video game, especially nowadays, is directly derived on its popularity and how people the public perceive your game if it is a good game people will buy your game they yeah. will buy cosmetics they will play your game if it is not a good game they won't so with that being said that was made to drive popularity back to elder scrolls online what ended up happening was zos generated the most revenue that they have ever generated in this game ever in the following months why is that the crown store that is um, shoved in your face, logging into the game. Yes, as soon as you log into the game, it pops up the crown store in a typical gotcha fashion. A lot okay. of the intro quests that you have to do, event quests, require you to enter the yes. crown store. This is, this is, you know, regardless of what I disagree so far with them on, uh, I do agree with the fact that they do these like very uh, obvious maneuvers where they want people to go through the crown store the prologue quest starters i've always kind of thought about this like why are they in the crown store and then i realized oh they want people to look through the crown store <laughs> more eyes on it means potentially you know mm -hmm. more, more customers mm -hmm. so it's like a very casino way of doing things you know um events stuff like that so that's also in the crown store mm -hmm. So I will agree, like, the it's kind of... So you will be there and be present, weird. it will be in your subconscious mind to check out the crown store. Yes. Okay. That is there all the time, it never ceases. Even in some load screens, I've noticed that I'll go from one load screen to another, and as soon as I get to a load screen, the crown store just pops up in my face again. Yes. Now, if you if use add-ons, for example, during trial some add-ons, when you go to acknowledge the add-on, if there's a failure or whatever, I've never had that it actually, if I don't have a the, daily a little up. dialogue box, it actually bypasses the it's dialogue box. It's happened to me box. randomly, like, even on PTS. <laughs> it's oh, just really? Like, yo, there, oh, no, there's been, like, I, I have it on some of my YouTube videos, um, and I, I know mm -hmm. some other people do as well, when, like, we're going for trifectas mm -hmm. or whatever. Like, randomly, you'll just have it pop up. 
after you go through a door wow. or like as you engage trash, it would just pop up, and you can't huh. move your you can't do anything. You gotta like exit out of it by pressing Alt or whatever. Mm -hmm. But it's super annoying. I, I don't know. <laughs> I would say so. And if you hit A on the controller, Weird. it actually accesses the happen. crown store, and you're actually going through the menus about to purchase items with your crowns in game. If you're not careful, if you're just spamming a button to clear the dialog box, it actually navigates itself through the crown store, and you can accidentally buy items that way. It's happened to me twice. I've been furious about us made two tickets okay. they refunded it but the fact that that is a possibility is absurd now getting a little off track mm -hmm. the drive of new players in this game was great um the preying on new players with this crown store and microtransactions again i know you guys do not have to buy anything right it's free to play technically but new players don't know any better and there are no prompts and there are no indications to tell new players that some of the services available in the Elder Scrolls Online, actually most of them, you can actually get in-game for free. For example, there is a cure for vampirism. That okay, is $15, I mean, you know, roughly you know, $15. Yeah, we already talked about all this before. Um, mm -hmm. I agree. It's just like, there was actually a guy in New Players Channel in the ESO Discord the other day, and they were like, what should I buy with my crowns? Mm -hmm. And I actually, no, he asked uh is it worth getting the starter pack and the starter pack if you guys don't know is like just some crown gems crown potions and some other shit it's like a black cat pet or whatever mm -hmm. and i was like no <laughs> that's basically no <laughs> so I, I, but i also wonder people who don't have access to discord or whatever or they just kind of like buy whatever with with those uh, sure yeah it's just like well and i've oh, talked to a lot of people over the past year, especially since the couple last fiascos with the promotions of uh, the Crown Respect Scrolls. I've, I've talked to a lot of people, a lot of you probably watching the video uh, I've talked to as well, that have told me, whoa, uh, you know, actually, when I was a new player, I bought the Vampirism Cure because I thought that's how you did it. And I spent money. And I was, uh, and you know, and, and what they told me was like, I don't, like, it didn't feel good. They felt tricked. Like it doesn't matter if they were tricked or if they should have read or should have looked it up on the internet. That what matters is the customer's perception in this case, and the perception was they felt tricked. So I do agree. It, it it is a bit predatory. I also feel like the Crown Crate bundle recently uh, that they've been coming out with with the polymorphs are also predatory because mm -hmm. it, what happens is maybe you could have gotten that polymorph if they had deemed it so or dined or dined it so right to let you get it with endeavors or something uh or gems even but the fact that they say okay we're gonna bundle it with the crown crates even though you don't want to essentially gamble even though you don't want to interact with the crown crate system you're gonna have to anyway because let's be real if you buy a crown crate bundle are you not gonna open those crown crates and there's a reason why those crown crates of course work the way they work or appear the way they appear and sound and sound the way they sound it's to get you into it <laughs> it's basically the sound of slot machines and shit you know then um companies have researched this and there's a reason why loot crates are they work so well in all games mm -hmm. crowns 15 dollars for a cure of vampirism to new players, they're not going to know any better. You get afflicted with vampirism, you know, 15, you know, that's, that's big. But did you know in the game, you can get it for free in like 50 different places in the game. It takes 30 seconds. That's $15 worth, right? Okay. Rich Lambert has even went on the record and saying, hey, you know, not a lot of people can farm gold in the Elder Scrolls Online. So, you know, that's why they swipe the card for these microtransactions and services available in the crown store. Um, that is an absolute bullshit story, you know, first of all. And most of the services that... The crown store has for a crown value you can get in the game for next to nothing or free you just gotta do a little bit of research and but the game tells you nothing you play with a newer player a few months ago who thought you could only respect your skills for a crown store yeah i mean that's kind of what i'm getting at here it's like uh not, you know when i i feel like most casual gamers don't look up guides you know i don't know if you guys remember like when guides used to be packed inside of a you know game case or cd case or like you could buy guides or guide books from like GameStop or whatever with the game. You know what I mean? Uh, digital games don't really have that much anymore, which is why it's become crucial to the point where like games should 
maybe put some tours in the game, right? Um, and I feel like a lot of people these days don't look up guides or things about the game they're playing too in depth. You know what I mean? Or maybe they do, but some things just don't appear on the algorithm results of Google or YouTube. So, I don't know. About that, you go find that on your own. It's, it's definitely something. Amalgamation videos from content creators like myself because Zoss doesn't have literally. That the crown store could better do pathetic. better with in terms the of the crown store like, in general and the services that aren't provided. So there is Gamba in this game. Um, there is a clever little workaround called the Seals of Endeavor system. So there are loot boxes. Um, Zoss has found a you know legal loophole to circumvent the whole gambling aspect of the game and implement what's called Seals of Endeavor. You know a streamer who bought every crafting station in Crown Store because he didn't know where else they got? So... Oh no! Wait, what do you mean by every crafting station? No. Like every attunable or every basic crafting station? If you're looking it up at the start of the red block, yeah, you probably have a bad time. Every, oh, every, okay, I was going to be like, man, okay. that streamer got I cut. Mean, <laughs> if they went running a two the whole stage. It's not as bad. Still, what, 3,500 3, crowns? Per, per one, st is it, is it 3,500 crowns per one station? I think so. What's 35, okay, hold on. That's like 23,400, no, sorry, 23,500 crowns i think sorry quick math off the top of my head holy shit that's still so that's a lot and so it, much. did they buy it with gold or did they buy it with their own I money know. i wonder because that uh, maybe you could like redeem yourself <laughs> somewhat their own money oh oh no that's uh seals of endeavor is a way to okay we're gonna talk about seals of endeavor items are in the crown crates so you can actually earn them in game so it's not technically gambling if you can earn everything in the crown crates in the game in some other way now the seals of endeavors uh let me kind of put this into perspective for you you do not have to know what it is or all the inner workings the tldr is that you earn seals of endeavor and it is a snail's pace compared to Sure. buying crowns you know to get the crown crates and what i mean by this for example it will take you eight months if you do every seals of endeavor which is like a daily quest and we can quest um it will take you eight months they only added it because of microsoft acquisition i i don't think it's be just because i think that's what a lot of people speculate i think i don't think it was just because microsoft acquired them i think it was because of a variety of reasons that may include that i think another reason why they would have why they implemented the endeavor system is because they could circumvent um, for example, Belgium players cannot access crown crates. Mm -hmm. yeah. So one way for you to provide an avenue for that is with Seals of Endeavor. And I guess another reason would also be like, as a system in itself, it encourages you to not grind, if that makes sense. You make it a grind, a snow, as, as Horcrux said here, a uh, slow snail pace grind. So you're more attracted to swiping a card because it's easier if that makes sense so i think there's a variety of reasons why they implemented it not because daddy microsoft said oh you know you gotta you gotta do it because there are other microsoft or xbox game studio games that do have loot boxes and certain microtransactions that basically about the same level as eso so i don't, I don't think it was because of microsoft solely to get one of these radiant apex mounts which is why you buy these crown crates to begin with you get these a very very slim chance of getting these radiant apex mounts it's like less than two percent and you pay it's actually far less than two percent or 15 crates oh, if you um, look at this you usually it. get it on uh probably like the 200th crate on average you know 200 times 40 um that's a lot of gold now a lot of money actually huh <laughs> okay in order i don't to know where this video is going mount, it would take you eight months. Because, like, I, I just feel like I'm watching... Okay, hold on, 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 hold on. I'm a... I'm a... I, okay, I'm going to say this, and this might sound really bad, okay? I feel like I'm just kind of, like, waiting for the point of the video. I'm just like... I feel like I'm watching myself. Like, literally. I, I feel like I'm watching... Oh my God. No, I'm serious. I feel like I'm watching... Bro, we got this. I feel like I'm watching... Like, everything we were talking about has been brought up, like... Mm -hmm goddamn 1000 billion times so where yeah. the the video says 
Developers betray the useful community. Where, 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 where is this? <laughs> like, what's going on here? Okay, so what's going on? All right, so first it was about PvP. Now it's about crown crates. Uh -huh. Okay, cool. But uh -huh. I have a lot to say about the developers part because it's like... I Because I, I've talked to developers too. Um, and very recently in Vegas and San Francisco, like directly one-on-one -on -one over fucking dinner and all that shit. And it's not the developers that are fucking, you know, doing the combat systems and the content changes that are like in charge of the financial shit it's a completely different like department or set of people mm -hmm. from the corporate side doing all that stuff so i i feel like if you're blaming the developers for crown crates that's kind of like okay no that's not it uh because a few of the developers i talked to they, they were pretty passionate people about what they do and they also by the way they don't like the way uh, a lot of things in the game are monetized. They don't. They want more stuff for people to enjoy. And when I look at this so far, I'm just like, okay, so where's the betrayal? So if you had told me, for example, okay, so uh, they 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 uh, got rid of the PEP, and that was not based on you know financial motive or that was just based on design motive, I'd be like, okay, yeah, that's a betrayal uh, to a degree. But so far, I just I feel like I'm just like watching myself. <laughs> I'm just like talk like I'm just talking about the same goddamn thing, you know, because we all brought this up, and uh, it's just I don't know where where's this going. I just want to see where this the goes. Sales of endeavor equivalent <laughs> of getting that in ground break when you can just swipe and get it, you know, eventually anyway. So the thing about that is okay. that the crown crates are seasonal. Okay. So the amount that you want, that you save up all your seals of endeavor for, which is going to take you over a half a year to do, if you log on each and every single day to get that mount, that mount has already been gone and it's been gone for like half a year. Okay. There's no way you're getting that. So that, what's the point, Zoss? Like what? The point is, uh, what is a feeling of missing out? What was it? Oh God. FOMO? Yeah, FOMO. It's just to make you buy it. <laughs> That's really it. That's it. You know, just, they want you to buy it right there and then. About that. It is it's FOMO. very speculative. It is very That's evil the point. behavior. Um, to be honest, it is very uh, predatory. Yes. And yes, uh, I don't is. really. It's, it's definitely it. so a didn't shitty monetization like model. This video is about what ESO is like now, what it is like to play the Elder Scrolls online now. If you don't care about microtransactions, no, this is going to matter to you. Okay. But. What will matter to you is what I'm going to say next is the community. Okay, um, okay. This is it. This is juice. It's pretty much been abandoned. What do I mean by that? They're still producing okay. content, right? There's yeah, still okay. new DLC zones. There's still a new class that came out. It's been five years since we've had a new class and never have we had a new weapon Four years. skill line, which makes everything very mundane and very, you know, distasteful. All of the revenue, everything would be okay. Crown store, sure. I can somehow justify that and play the mental gymnastics in my head if all of that revenue was pumped back into the Elder Scrolls Online. Guys, it took us seven years to get new hardware for servers. The server performance is abysmal. It's getting oh worse and God. worse. They have degraded the population cap in the open world environment by like 75% just because okay. the servers can't keep up with, with anything. And some fictitious world, so some alternate reality, okay? If I could somehow justify the crown story in my head, like, okay, they need to make money. They need to keep food on the table. They need to keep Microsoft happy. They need to make money. They need to keep pumping money. Okay. They need to keep reinvesting into their product. Yes, they will upgrade their servers. They're, they're going to you know, hire new people, hire new engineers, fix all these bugs that have been in the game. The the stupid in-combat bugs have been in the game since inception. You still fall through the map. There are so many things that just don't work. But thank okay. God all that is being taken care of with the extra revenue that Zoss is gaining from the crown store. That's where you'd be wrong. Okay. Um, the Elder Scrolls Online has made more money than mm. any of Bethesda Zenimax's games ever last year. I feel like I'm watching myself. <laughs> I feel like I'm watching myself, bro. Like, I, I don't know what's going on here. I feel like, isn't this like everything we've been saying for like the past year or two or three? Mm -hmm. I'm just like, okay, it so what's, what's, what's the betrayal? All the games combined, <laughs> like they have made like 10 times the amount of all the games combined. The we don't Scroll, know the exact amount. 
um, according to the financial reports that are available to us, uh, to clarify. We do know that according to those same reports covered by uh, certain outlets, like I think it was Bloomberg, that ESO has made more than Skyrim and Fallout IPs put together. Um, it is, and judging by the Steam charts and all that, it is definitely a very high grossing product. We don't know the exact amount, but we do know that it is certainly a huge beam of, in terms of the money it does pull, at least compared to its other IPs like Skyrim. Like Skyrim just cannot match the sales that go on with ESO, just to clarify. Online. I don't know where you got the it's 10 times. It's literally a cash cow for It is a cash company. cow. And none okay. of that money gets it reinvested back into the Elder Scrolls Online. We don't know that. <laughs> we also don't know this. I, I, we don't know this because this is a matter of speculation because we have to speculate, well, based on what are they doing here? How much... Because uh, we're only getting tidbits of information from uh, the company and what's going on with their newest IP that they're working on. We do know for a fact that one of their lead graphic designers are helping with the new IP. We do know that Lehman Tuttle, the second Lord Master of ESO, went to the new IP. We do know that there is definitely some overlap between the internal departments as in the Max Online Studios. Uh, between the two IPs of ESO and this new one they haven't announced yet officially. and But we cannot say for sure that they don't reinvest money back into ESO. Although, by the very fact that they did essentially buy and finally implement, or are starting to finally implement the new server hardware is an indication of the fact that, yeah, they did reinvest into ESO. So I don't know what's going on here. None of it. They do not care about the community. All of it is getting forwarded to you know, Todd Howard, Elder Scrolls 6, which will come out in like five years. What the f <laughs> What the heck is going on? What? Todd Howard? Oh boy. I don't, dude, I made an entire video explaining the structure of ZeniMax Media and explained the differences between Bethesda Game Studios and ZeniMax Online Studios and all that shit. It's all out there, how it works, how it's divided, how it's allocated. ESO money does not go to Bethesda Game Studios magically or end up in the pockets of God Howard or Todd Howard, whatever you want to call him. Okay, I don't know where, where this is coming from. Is there like a new report I'm not aware of? Years and also Starfield, which is a single Starfield. player game, right? It is going to... Yeah. <laughs> I thought this was going to be just another, you know... Same old shit I say or we say about the game. I, I thought it was, I thought it's getting wilder. <laughs> How could you, you know what? This is content. This is fucking content. It's better than anything I put out, honestly. Fuck me. <laughs> to be a flop, who is going to play Starfield. a single player game? Flop? Play? What? <laughs> Any long amount of times, but all that money is being pump, pumped into pumped. other endeavors elsewhere within the companies. I guess how do you know that? they can do whatever they want with it. How do you but know guys, that? As a community, they show me the do chart. How do you, how, no, not the chart. Just <laughs> how do you how do you know? Okay, I, I, okay, let's just forget about the legalities with how that money would be uh, transferred or processed. Okay, even within the same conglomerate. Okay, <laughs> how do you know all that money that ESO is making is going into Starfield and ESO? Or sorry, Elder Scrolls Six, or in the pockets of Todd Howard? How do you know this? I would like to know how you know this. That's all I'm saying. PvE -er trying to clown the PvP -er buddy ass sold out for some Zenimax loon change. I wish Zenimax paid me, but I'm not clowning him because he's a PvP. -er, okay? I'm clowning him right now because some of the shit he has said doesn't make any fucking sense on any goddamn level. So shut your goddamn ass up, honestly. Like, goddamn, like you would have to be one of the least intelligent people to believe this nonsense. Like, how do you conclude, based on no evidence, that money from ESO is somehow going to Starfield, or Todd Howard's personal pockets, or Elder Scrolls Six? Based on what we know? Like, it doesn't make any sense at all. Like, it just doesn't make any sense. So what, where's the evidence? Is he gonna show it? I hope he shows it. I would no. love to be wrong. I would love to be wrong here, the because they, that's, they that's more content for me. About this. Okay. If you want my humble opinion, <laughs> I don't think it's necessarily the, the corporate greed, you know, kind of up the ladder. 
I personally would like to take a Loki take on this from the Time Transit Authority and just prune the devs. Even during the community streams is ridiculous because the community managers are shilling out their merch and product placement the entire time. They completely refuse to answer relevant questions when it comes to bug fixes and PvP. Anything. Content in this game is abysmal and it's just the amount of money that they actually make and do not reinvest into the Elder Scrolls Online really rubs me the wrong way. And it has for a while. And me, as a content creator, I have contributed to that problem. Because okay. Me, I, 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 okay, so he's, he has not provided any evidence for his claims about the fact that ESO funnels their profits into Starfield or the Elder Scrolls 6 or, any, or Bethesda Game Studios. Um, I have agreed with him so far on some points about the Crown Store monetization and how awful the experience is in terms of the monetary model for newer players or even you know long-term players i don't know where he got he got that other shit from but whatever so now he's gonna talk um, about what's he gonna talk about he's gonna talk about uh i used to play getting rid of all of the video games as an escapism helpful. from real he's life gonna, he's gonna talk about how he's also complicit in this somehow <laughs> And I, I mm. and now it's kind of gotten to the point to where the Elder Scrolls Online, I, I dread making content for it because I know what's really going on behind the scenes, right? Um, let's 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 kind of okay. revisit the crown store before I, I, I touch on that topic. I've run a couple of businesses. Um, Taking money from a profitable product to develop new products is normal. Yeah, of course you do have to maintain the profitable product though if you're not growing and dying. I'm totally on board with that concept, obviously. But when you're looking at the structure of Zenimax Media Inc., not Zenimax Online Studios, the, the conglomerate, and you're talking about really like complex legalities with how they transfer all their money between whatever, right? Based on the reports we know, we've read, that are out there in the public, there's no indication that they are using profits from ESO to fund Starfield or Elder Scrolls 6. There's nothing. There's nothing out there that indicates any of that. If there is, great. Cool. But there's no evidence. And the fact that he just kind of pulled it out of his ass and was like, that's what's happening, I'm just like, okay, sure. Uh, <laughs> doesn't matter. Um, there know. is a debacle about the crown store right now, how you're not able to gift said crown crates. So people have cleverly figured out a way to a geotag and change the location to buy crown crates at a super reduced like, rate. Like no one five... knows like what their specific finances are or anything. There's no statement out there that shows how much of their money goes where. And to assume that none of that money is going back into ESO, even though that in itself is a contradiction, when, we, when, we're, when he's talking about this new server hardware is kind of nonsensical. So again, it just doesn't make sense. I don't know. Like, if you guys want to believe him, go for it. I don't really give a shit, but I, I'm quite I skeptical of these two claims earlier. here so far. There's a way you can be Even though I agree with him on the predatory nature of the crowd store. Because of some third world laws, you know, you know uh, rate of inflation, you know, whatever. Okay. And a lot of people are doing that selling crown crates, and it's kind of circumventing the whole crown crate gifting system, and Zoss is losing a lot of money doing that. So, they don't really intervene in the game unless it's losing money. Let me tell you, that crown store, the crown system is immaculate compared mm -hmm. to the rest of the game. If anything goes wrong, the crown store is fixed immediately. But, but anyway, that's that's something that they won't touch on in the forums. They they I don't know why they won't. Except the they crown crate the gifting details, issue. That's what's going on. Uh, just so you guys know. But uh, let's 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 kind of get back on track here. So let, let's talk about uh, my influence on the Elder Scrolls Online and being um, one of the the you know God rest my soul and God help me, dude. Like being a PvP content creator in the Elder Scrolls Online is tough, dude. It is miserable. But I enjoy PvP and I love teaching people about okay. PvP. I'm a pretty good mentor. I mean, I always put out some of the best builds you'll ever find. Yes. So if you talk to the PvP people, you probably heard my name somewhere, good or bad, doesn't matter. You probably heard my name somewhere okay but, uh, and the reason i'm even bringing this up is that uh, i am kind of playing into the problem and not the solution um, by producing by producing content. content for the elder scrolls online i'm drawing more people in okay i am keeping people here who would otherwise leave you know go on to bigger and better things and i feel like my involvement is just contributing to the problem um, bro <laughs> 
I thought this was going to be a regular video. Just, I thought this was going to be a normal video criticizing what should be criticized, you know. You know what I mean? Like, I'm just like, okay. Oh, my God. Okay, so I have so many things to break down with that idea of if you're a content creator for this game, you're also responsible for the problems the game poses. I think that is complete horseshit. I feel like if you're a content creator for ESO and then suddenly Zoss is like, hey guys, we have a crown crate bundle for 8,000 crowns or whatever. Am I, am I to be blamed for that? <laughs> what the hell is going on? Just because a company decides to implement something that a streamer or content creator has no say in whatsoever and to say that, you know what, I'm going to take responsibility for that is complete nonsense. Um, it's up to the content creator on a, on a personal and financial sense and level to decide whether they want to stick with the game or they don't want to stick with the game, okay? That's really it. That's all it comes down to. And I have no doubt if I look at his channel, ESO videos are probably among the highest viewed content he does. Um, so the sense there is, okay, I can, I'll keep making ESO videos because they're still getting some views. But the moment that the views are gone, regardless of what the company is doing, the common sense decision is, well, I'll move on to the next game. That's what I would do. That's what Skinny would do. That's what anyone, that's what any content creator would do if they were worried about that. Okay, the sense of finance and the sense of personal fulfillment. Personally, I'm not really personally fulfilled these days by ESO. So I get some of the sentiments he's brought up. Okay? But at the same time, I'm not going to be like, you know what, guys? I'm going to make myself into a Christ-like figure and fucking crucify myself for your sins of buying the fucking crown crates. <laughs> like, what the fuck is going on here, bro? Like, why are you blaming yourself for people buying crown crates? Why are you blaming yourself for people getting addicted to crown crates just because you make an ESO video? So you're telling me some random schmo with 1K subscribers on YouTube making a video about event tickets on ESO is also partly to blame for crown crates and the shitty monetization models? What? Come on, man. Like, come on. <laughs> Please. You can disagree with me on this, but like, if you're, if you're telling me you're complicit in crown crates and people ruining their lives by buying crown crates or making the game a shittier place. That's like a completely different discussion to have, separate from what the video is supposed to be about, okay? And that discussion is kind of nonsensical. Like, there are plenty of games that do just as bad in terms of monetization. There are plenty of games out there that are worse, to be frank. And people are still making content for those games. Does that mean they're complicit? I don't know. It's kind of weird. Nefes, why won't you fix the Falkreath hole and Bone Golem? Boss pets a bug. I don't know. I don't know what's going on here. Like. That's why kind of going forward, this is going to be kind of, uh, kind of for my channel. When it comes to content, I'm going to kind of wean myself off of Elder Scrolls content because I feel that I, I just don't feel comfortable anymore um, hyping this game up and drawing people in when clearly the developers are not not uh, not worthy. The, the the game's vision is so uh, disjointed from. I think it's completely fine. He feels uncomfortable making content or continuing to make content for the game. I think it's completely fine that I think his criticism of the games. Uh, monetization models is spot on. I think it's fine. He doesn't want to drive traffic to ESO anymore through his own channel. That's completely fine. Um, there's just some periphery things here that I just don't really understand. But as a content creator, you yourself, that's your channel. It's your life, your content, you decide. Um, and that's really it. That's all I have to say. But don't think to yourself, you're somehow involved in a company's decisions. That doesn't make sense to me. What it should be. I don't believe that the community devs or managers are passionate about the Elder Scrolls Online. I just think this is a check mark on their resume. So when they move on to other endeavors, they can, you know, have that on the resume. I think that's really all it is. <clears throat> and I don't feel the devs are that passionate. I think it's fine to also kind of 
feel a certain way about the game. I don't know if like putting words in the mouth of others or like feelings in the hearts of others is a good way to do this. You know what I mean? Like, I feel like if Gina was like tired of e s or whatever, or the community in general, she could have left a long time ago. I think she's been with Zoss for like how many years now? Uh, like 12 to 13 years or, or, or so. Be, even, you know, because she was there bef- as the company was developing the game, I believe, or was finishing it up. So I, I don't know. Like, just kind of、I、weird vibes here for me personally. And you know, for that reason, I am going to step back on the content creation for、um, the Elder Scrolls Online. This is kind of like yeah, a, a coming out、um, video as well, if you made it to this part of the video anyway.、Um, so let's, let's talk about the combat. So th- th- this is what I want to talk about. I think certainly what shouldn't be discounted here, regardless of the weird claim so far, is people's perception of the game. So even if it's not perhaps rational or factual, It's really important to note the customer's perception of what's going on and how to respond to those perceptions. And I think that's something,、uh, not the devs necessarily, but Zoss as a company could respond to better and in a, more, like a, a, a much more timely manner, if that makes sense. So that's, that's it all I'm going to say about that segment.、Um, or at least give you my thoughts on it.、Uh, when it comes to PVE, the PVE is pretty cool. Um, PvE, creating a lot、okay. of snafu. Scripting is really bad in PvE. It is super bad. If you guys don't know about the scripting issues and the, scripting the perfect、issues. auto attacks and DSA scripts, you're living under a rock. I mean, what the fuck is <laughs> Hold up, bro. <laughs> what?、Huh? What? What's going、Uh-oh. on here? What's going on in PvE? This is news to me. Th- this is what I want to talk about the most.、Um, or at least give you my thoughts on it.、Uh, when it comes to PvE, the PvE is pretty cool. Okay. Um, written a lot of snaps. Sorry. The scripting is really bad. Scripting. In PvE. It is super bad. If you guys don't、What's、know、scripting? about the scripting issues and the, the, the perfect auto attacks and DSA sc- Perfect auto attacks? Weaving? Scripts. You're living under a rock. DSA. You know, most you know, top tier guilds are doing it. Probably 60, 70% of people have some script of some kind, some sort of. Dude. <laughs> Dude. What? I just, I just wanted this to be a normal video. <laughs> I, just, I don't know how you could have gone into it. I just wanted be this to be like. <laughs> <laughs> I, I don't know what's going on. I think it's perfectly okay to say that right now. What is. What, what script? Scripting? For, what, what are they scripting? I'm. I, I don't know. I think he means like macro or whatever people's perception of that is or idea of that is. Perfect auto attacking. I think he means like, you know, there's no way you're doing lie attack weaving. I think there's only been one very public accusation of that recently that may have some merit, but I don't know what he's talking about when he's ta- saying 60, 70% of the top guilds are cheating, essentially. I'm just like. For macro, it, it is macro, like, bro. Come on, what are these 2016 ass goddamn accusations, bro? I don't get it. Degener- what does that mean? Like, okay, so like running a third party program to accomplish in game things. So I could write a macro or script or cheat for clearing content or for performing certain actions in the game. Uh, that is obviously not intended by the developers or the game system. So. <laughs> behavior. And a lot of that has trickled over into PvP. There's a lot of scripting, that, there, there's a hey, lot hey. of cheating going on in the Elder Scrolls Online. Oh my god. I don't agree with a lot of Am I even watching a 2016 video, bro? I、oh、agree with her sometimes,、god. but、uh, JTK、uh, Gaming <laughs> did make a really good video about cheating in the Elder Scrolls Online. I think、okay. he could have elaborated on that quite a bit more. And there's a lot of cheating. I'm sure. Like, I'm, sh- is- I'm, sh- I'm not saying there's no cheating at all, but to insinuate a majority of endgame PVEers are cheating is like <laughs> insane, absolutely insane to me, bro. Because、uh, we dissect each other's logs to such a degree that if we see something really weird, really off, we're calling you out on it.、Mm-hmm. Uh, like, it's so weird. That's. 
And the fact that he's using that as a way to say, oh, there's cheaters and people. I'm, I'm sure there's cheaters. I'm sure there's people trying to cheat all the time. I, I heard there was a Tales of Tribute. I mean, there was a Tales of Tribute cheater last year who got banned for cheating. <laughs> so, yes, people will cheat. But, like, to say it's everybody or almost everybody, that's, that's quite the bold claim, bro. Honestly. And, like, to, I'm not saying there's no cheaters, but, like... Don't say like it's everybody or like a lot of people. Scripts are like smart macros that can pixel skin more and you all the heal whatever you want. It's not massive in this way does happen here and there. Yeah, that's fine. I'm not saying that doesn't happen, but I'm saying like, why are you bringing PVEers into this all of a sudden? So weird. This is an esport, guys. I don't understand why people are. You know, I don't know if it's just like an ego boost or whatever it is. Like, this isn't esport. There's no monetary value to be earned. I don't know why so many people are, are doing this and it's running rampant it's so easy to to get access to these macros in private discords it, it's just unfathomable how okay. how what? degenerate the, the game became over the years but let's talk about the pvp combat it's had a problem since day one uh, the devs do not know how to balance pvp because they're so dissociated with the pvp community i have made multiple attempts the real godzilla to reach out to the community managers <laughs> to help bridge the gap okay. between the PvP community oh, and boy. the rest of the community. Bro, I like, remember. <sighs> never mind. I'm not going to say anything. I'm not going to say anything. Like I'm, not gonna say anything. I'm not even going to say anything. I'm not even going to say anything. I'm not even going to Just waiting to be turned on. I'm not even going to say anything. That's the way I feel. Like, if anyone's going to feel abandoned, it, it's us PvPers. We are okay. the, the, the shit stains of the of the community. <laughs> We're all viewed as, like, degenerate. You know. Bro, like, okay, it's it's so, some of the shit he says is silly. But, uh... I can understand again. I'm not, I'm not saying he's completely invalid. I understand the sentiment. I under, I, cause I, I have friends who are still beefing. So I get that. But uh, yeah, uh, I don't know. Let's keep going. Ape, apes, Neanderthals, and we're not like that. We're just frustrated that this was supposed to be a PvP game and there's very few veterans around and we, we don't get any luck. I agree. It was, it was supposed to be, uh, not supposed to be, but it was primarily marketed as a PvP game and that's. A big reason why a lot of us came to ESO. Um, so yeah, that, that's all I can say about that. Of zero. Zero. When I say zero, I mean zero. There's never been a new weapon line. We only have seven classes in the game after nine years. It was uh, wait, what was he saying about weapon line? Like, no weapon line? I mean, yeah, it's been a while, sure. It'd be okay if the classes were were, were, were well devised and balanced. Guild skill lines really too. I mean, they the could add a lot more stuff. So let's yeah, talk I agree. about the balancing. Okay. The Elder Scrolls Online does not balance PvE and PvP independently. You cannot ever, ever, in game design, have a balanced game in both PvE and PvP without segregating the two. Most of the nerfs and changes are made in PvE and all that trickles over to PvP and we're just kind of left with the scraps. Very rarely do we ever get a balance change specifically for PvP. And usually when we do, it affects PvE and people cry about it and gets reverted. Uh, no offense to you guys, but uh, that's usually what happens. We get the short end of the stick on that one. Um, the hybridization, um, Zasa's idea was of just watching your depression video, all this 180 just for y'all groupies and yes, and gather in the comments for the next is he so dead video. What the fuck is this? Uh, what, what the fuck is this guy talking about in Twitch? <laughs> what the fuck? Are you okay? You, you need help? I'm clearly not paying attention. You, you need something? I mean, can we just clear some room here real quick for this guy? Safe for work. You're right. Do you need you medical assistance? You want to talk about something? Are you in the United States? We can call 911 real quick. <laughs> can we just cut to him trying to let... I, do I, I don't know. This is like... I'm only watching this because some people ask me to. You, you sweet as fuck, Nefes. I was defending you. No wonder people call you a big ass boy. What are you talking about, bro? <laughs> <laughs> what? You can call no one can too. I didn't know that. But anyway, like I'm just watching this because some people asked me to, and also I saw it on Twitter, and I'm like, okay, let's see what this is about. So far, for the most part, I agree with like the sentiments and also the again the criticism of some of the things he said. But there are some wild ass claims he's making in the like uh, post 15 minutes mark of making. Um, the the skills hybridized, uh, meaning if you're unfamiliar with the Elder Scrolls Online, you typically have two resource pools. You have Magicka and you have Stamina. And depending on your ability, it would either cost one or the other. So 
uh, the idea was to like kind of combine those a little bit you know weapon spell damage um, same thing as your stat pulls magic stamina you know whatever the idea was to combine those to where people would have more build variability and uh it would you know, so in this make last it more video. exciting um that did just the opposite Wait, what i um, mean it actually made the meta way more stale because there's like 300 and something sets in the game don't quote me on that sets are like the equivalent you know you guys know what sets are come on if you play mmos or you know like diablo arpgs you know what a set bonus is right um Bruh. there's like 300 of them in the game and in pvp there is like eight maybe nine relevant sets and the rest are dog water you can't use them okay and the game has become like sure. so like grindy and competitive in, in pvp that if you're not running one of these quote-unquote meta sets you put yourself at a super disadvantage uh the game promotes okay. zerg game it promote promotes uh unkillable tank zerg gameplay if you guys are uh, again yeah. unfamiliar with sure. yourself, like oh it's a pvp game of course you're supposed to group and blah 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 have fun um you guys don't understand okay so back in the day you used to be able to like 1v20 1v10 you know whatever Bro, pretty easily i mean not like, easily PvP like is, oh my god i'm not <laughs> got to the point to where, Bro. where the I'm not time saying to anything. kill i'm just, I'm just gonna keep so going abysmally high it is just un unenjoyable unless you run around in like a huge zerg you can't really kill anyone or do anything Bro. and this is coming from one of the best solo players not to pat myself on the back or anything but i have huh? had the most hours solo in pvp than any other player in huh? this entire game I... what <laughs> what the fuck is going on what? man i was with you i was with you on <laughs> up until like 15 minutes bro <laughs> I was with you. <laughs> I just, I lost you. I lost you. Like after after the fifteen minute mark, I lost you. What ha What's happening? What What is going what is on? <laughs> what is this video? <laughs> <laughs> to be fair, one VX is a little harder than used. I agree, completely. Uh, but the thing about 1VXing is, every, like, even if we're talking about 2015, 2014, or whatever, uh, you can only really 1VX not very good players. So I'm kind of generalizing what the 1VX kind of genre of PvP is like. What the fuck? But also, like, what's going on here when you're, like, claiming, oh, I got the most hours of solo play? Oh. <sighs> All right, what's up? What's up, Viking? I'm. What? 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 What even was this point? <laughs> I just kind of like I lost my train of thought, bro. No, I have no clue. I have I have lost my train like, of goddamn thought. Thing. Like my train was like choo 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 choo, and it's fucking just fucking derailed. <laughs> like there's no more tracks. It's just like what's going. I just kind of want to rewind because I'm just like reeling over the fact that I even said this. Like these quote-unquote meta sets you put yourself at a super disadvantage uh the game promotes zerging it promote, promotes uh unkillable tank zerg gameplay if you well guys... that's debatable i think some of the set changes that they've introduced kind of have tried and the keyword is try the devs have always tried to break up ball groups a bit more zerging a bit more but uh that that's a more of a complicated tale Again, I'm familiar with the ESO. I'm like, oh, it's a PvP game. Of course, you're supposed to group and blah, 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 have fun. Um, you guys don't understand. Yes, I do. So back in the day, okay. used to be able to like 1v20, 1v10, all right, all right. you know, Let whatever, pretty down, easily. I mean, <laughs> it's like, PvP really? has gotten to the point to where the time to kill is so abysmally high. It is yes, just Yes, I agree. I completely agree. I completely agree. People are just naturally tankier than they used to be even two years ago, compared to even two years ago or one year ago. I agree unenjoyable okay unless you run around in like a huge zerg you can't really kill anyone or do anything that's and not true but this okay is coming from one of the best solo players not to pat myself on the back or anything but i have had the most hours solo in pvp oh, no, no, no you haven't how do you know how, how do you know this how do you know eso is funneling money into todd howard's pockets or oh, starfield <laughs> how do you know you have the most hours played <laughs> no one knows solo <laughs> 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 no one where the where the whatever any other player in this entire game i will bet my my channel on that one i assure you, you bet your channel I, on that one bro as a solo oh, player i had the most God. hours in the thing is we can't prove it 
You can't prove. How do you know? How do you know? You literally don't. <laughs> How would you know? Like, you can't. The only way I feel that like you would know is if like you ask Zoss, hey, how long have I played this game? And out of those hours I played this game, how long did I play by myself in Cyrodiil without being in yeah, a group? Like they're going to take the time to look up that information. I mean, that'd be a fun stat to look at. But well, sure. I don't think they can do for everybody. <laughs> players across console no. and PC to this no day. Way. I, I rarely group. If I do, it's just for like a couple group. hours. Okay. Okay. No, so this fine. is coming. I know what I'm talking about when I say I'm this like... time to kill is abysmal. That's my job as a solo 1VXer is to kill people as quick as possible. Right. Okay. It has gotten to the point to where the damage has been squished so much and the tank ability and the smart healing system, which I'm going to talk about in just a second. Has made literally everyone just just, just oh unkillable, God. just unkillable. And so what you have is just this mosh pit of people using spells back and forth, and nothing happens. Like literally nothing happens. I feel like uh, this is a, a bit more of a complicated issue than he's making out to be when we're talking about PvP balance. Because I've been PvPing a bit, at least in the past couple of months, and I feel like it's the fact that the tankiness and damage has gone up to the point is really rough to try to 1vx i i really struggled hard with even 1v2ing or 1v3 like man it's rough but yeah. it happens it, it, it's just a slog fest back and forth and, and i don't know where the, the other claims are coming from. hours and, and and grinding for all these new sets that all, all, all this time that you've wasted to, to, to pump into a build and you know, a week, two weeks later, when you have everything golded out, all your upgrades ready, you hop into PvP and you get zero results okay. because everyone is running around with super high th health thresholds and they don't okay. do any damage, and everyone just feels like a tank. Everyone feels like a heal bot. Speaking okay. of heal bots, the smart healing system ESO needs to be scrapped and redone. The what fact that someone can be getting killed from an AOE ability through the floor and the smart heal, if you guys don't know what that through is, it prioritizes the uh, most like injured target in an area and will heal that person over everyone else. You mean, I do look at him. There's no skill. You just you spam a few buttons and, and that's it. And speaking of that, we've not had a new serial map in nine years since this game has came out. Serial's not changed. Yeah, they added a few little outposts in here, but literally nothing has changed. I One agree. good thing about nothing PvP, has changed. Uh, was, I agree. was good about PvP was going into the Imperial City is essentially a new smaller map. And there's actually some incentive to farm down there. There's some mats you can, uh, materials you can get, and you can trade for gold. And the, um, some of the mats that you get down there are actually using a lot of the in-game, you know, uh, potions and enchantments and glyphs and stuff. And that population is gone. It's, no one is in there. No one is in the Imperial City, and I can't figure out why. Um, I really can't. It is the lag is amazing there. Like there is no lag. You actually have incentive, monetary value in game to kind do, of. you know, tasks down the. Imperial I feel like City, the incentives for playing in IC are very poor. I feel like incentives in ESO in general are just really bad. It doesn't matter if you're a PVE or it doesn't matter if you're PEP or it doesn't really even matter if you're like a casual player. I, I feel like incentives are just bad in general. I don't know what he's talking about with IC. Having good incentives, but not having chooses to stay up in, it's terrible. in their <laughs> ball groups and just, just run around <laughs> hillbotting and just super high health. And no one dies. It's not fun. Um, I've had a lot of people come into ESO and they particularly single me out. But hey, you know, you have a lot of inf information about PvP. I come to you, okay. you know, for training tips good. and stuff. That's good. And you know, I I tell them I'm like it's good. it's not what it used to be. Okay. Um, when I look back, um, like you know, like nine years ago, and shut the door. What? <laughs> You should shut this door. Like, was, compared to where it is 25 now, minutes it is ago, day difference, and it is very difficult for me to remain interested in the game for any length of time uh, because of that. So, um, the state of ESO, okay, it's not good. It's not good. When the new class came out, we've had the new class in uh, five years. It's been about five years since we had a new class. Um, Twitch hit like an all-time high of like eight thousand concurrent viewers, which is nothing. Right, and then two days after the new class came out, it went right back to the same exact trend that it always was with the concurrent viewers. You know, two maybe three thousand concurrent viewers at any given time. Okay. Um, the fact that you can have that substantial amount of drop off in two days after a brand new class had been released kind of tells you a lot about the state of the game. And oh would it my be god, a no! I feel like there's a lot more factors in the state of the game. I feel like almost everyone I've talked to has agreed that yeah, the chapter is decent. It's better than lore wise. And combat wise, better than High Isle, better than Blackwood. But I think what really drew off ESO what is that there's other games. 
<laughs> you know what I mean? And in some cases, other games with better drop systems for viewers. So, like, look at Diablo 4. Are you, you know what I mean? Like, it's just, I don't know, man. Like, I don't think you can just solely blame me also for this one around. Um, I, I also think, and I went into it in my other video too, like, is it the game or is it us as well? You know, maybe it's a mix of both. Because, again, I, I don't think a lot of us who are still playing ESO after some very long time feel fulfilled anymore by ESO. And I don't know if that's because that's just us or maybe it's also got to do with the game. But I think it's maybe, I don't know, I think it's a mix of both. So just to kind of squarely blame it on the state of ESO for its lack of success in the Twitch directory or maybe dwindling metrics on the YouTube end is not, it's, it's very reductive. I don't think that's looking at the whole picture here. I'm, maybe that is a part of it, but it's not the whole picture here. A game that I would recommend investing your time in. Does this game reward you <sighs> for this game your reward time you? invested? And not the really. Is absolutely not. Yes. It is um, a, a very pay for convenience system. It's also it a very be, pay yes. for power system. There are power. what's called mythical items in the game. And okay. Yeah. They are items sure. that are substantially better than any other gear in the entire game. And the only way you can get them is by buying the expansions. Isn't that you're like playing ESO Plus? Everything's free to play. You don't almost every have to buy the expansion. The expansion <laughs> like, is not included in ESO Plus. You have to buy them. Like just like I get regular it. gear sets. Oh well, yeah. You have to have the expansion. Well, I get it. I get why 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 you're saying this. I get it, but yeah. it's like yeah. look at the other games too. You know. Sure. And it's also yeah. the fact that not. All the time you're using a mythic, even in PvE or PvP, so I'm yeah. not sure. Like, I don't know. It's whatever. So, in it's order not like to you get go into these the mythical items, you have to mythic. buy the expansion. And you know? if you do not have these mythical items, you are at an extreme disadvantage. So I disagree. In a way, I feel like I would lose. Like, I feel like if I went to PvP right now with a mythic setup, and I went up against someone who's been PvPing consistently, uh. And, you know, 1v1 them, I'd probably lose, even if they didn't have a Mythic. <laughs> I feel like he's discounting that a lot of the... I think he's discounting the fact that ESO is still a very skill-based game to a degree. Which, unfortunately, mm -hmm. has been, as he said, dampened somewhat earlier. He mentioned something about proc sets or whatever, damage has gone up. Yeah, sure. But you still need to understand the fundamentals of the game to build or to play well. So just it's the fact you have win. a mythic doesn't mean you're at an inherent disadvantage. So it's pay it's for just, convenience, pay to win. You just don't have it. That's I don't know how to explain the that. The community is completely divided between PvE and PvP. The community managers are completely disjointed from the community and what we want. They do what they are told or what you know is going to generate the most revenue for them, and they don't really listen to the community at all. Um, there's not been any radical changes that has helped the quality of life of anyone. Like literally in ESO, I mean, there, there's been like a handful of forum posts that I've seen that, that they've worked on some quality of life things, okay. but everything is, is, is just for show. Like it takes them forever to get anything done. I don't know, understand why. I'm not sure what kind of spaghetti code is going on behind the scenes, but we don't have roadmaps for anything, guys. Like they're, they're again, you're he... banned for talking about PVP on what? streams. We What's don't up? have an open... <laughs> What's up? Oh my God. What's up? He expects things to be done instantly. I like mean, this isn't a massive game in itself and well, coding is extensive and there's like a hundred different people's code language happening in there that they have to decipher to go in and fix. Like there's a whole lot that goes on behind the scenes. Well, this is a, I mean, I, I'm not saying like, again, I, I'm not saying the sentiment is wrong, but like you have to also realize a lot of people who play games don't understand what goes into the games. <laughs> Yeah. So, I mean, like, yeah, you know, games. like, I, I, I get it, you know, <sighs> but I understand the frustrations, but at the same time, it's a bit self-centered to be mad that it's not instantly fixed. Well, it's just kind of like, it, you always have this kind of commentator or like a line of thought, no matter what game you play. I mean, I think I just saw Destiny 2's developers finally put out a post explaining what exactly they're doing and what exactly is wrong. And because people have been, a lot of players have been requesting for them to do that. And apparently a lot of players over there with Destiny 2 don't understand what they're even talking about in that, in that post. <laughs> So, you know what I mean? It's just kind of like, it's just going to be, you just kind of have to accept the fact that 
the player perception and the developer perception is never gonna probably coincide well. You know what I mean? I mean, but also you also I I I do agree with him and the fact that maybe and this is what I was saying earlier. Like, regardless of whether the customer perception is rational or not factual, you have to still understand their perception still matters, right?、Mm -hmm. And I think Zos again could work better in terms of like more.、Uh, Ad like addressing those perceptions in a more timely manner, which、oh, sure, I feel like they could definitely improve upon vastly, like one hundred percent, no doubt about that. But I don't think that's, I think that's a different conversation too.、Hmm. Open line of communication with the community devs from the PVP community, and it's that's just how it is, and it's not getting any better. It's gotten worse and worse and worse over the years, and I had this sunk、okay. cost fallacy. I've、yeah. dedicated nine years of my life for the Elder Scrolls Online,、oh, produced content, for, you know, content for the past couple of years. I've dropped a fair bit of money, you know, for content creation into this game, and it's very hard to pull myself away from it because, again, you know, sunk cost fallacy, and I'm starting to realize that. So going forward, I'm going to be producing less content. Um, because I don't want to drive players to the Elder Scrolls Online. Okay.、Um, you guys don't deserve that.、Um, by all <laughs> means, if you are a content creator for the Elder Scrolls Online, more power to you. If you love this、yeah. game, you're super passionate about it. Absolutely, do what makes you happy, man. But I'm telling you right now, putting all my time and effort into promoting a company and a game that just simply doesn't deserve it anymore is very distasteful, and I,、uh, it, it it hurts me on a.、Uh, It hurts me on an ethereal level, okay?、Um, it,、uh, it it does kind of eat at me. You know, people ask me for build videos. You know, I but it it pains me to make videos sometimes, just because I know I'm just contributing to the problem and not the solution. The solution is to oh again, my god, that argument the, again, like oh, I'm complicit in the crown crate business because I'm making content for it, bro. Like just say it. Just say you're tired of it. So. <laughs> I said that earlier too. Like I'm just like you know, if you don't fulfill, if you don't feel fulfilled by making content for ESO, which I totally understand right now at this point, because I've been playing this game for way too long. In 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 my opinion,、um, yeah, you know, take a break, figure that out. You know, emotionally, mentally, I get it, but like, don't don't do that. Don't do the whole. <laughs> you know what I mean. I'm sacrificing myself essentially yeah, for like for you.、Uh, no, just you know. Again, self-centered. No, I think. Well, that's I don't know. It's like like isn't that the opposite of self-centered? It's like I'm doing it for you. You know what I mean? I don't think he's the fact that he thinks he is like such a an essential part of ESO. That he would sacrifice himself for his viewers, like that is self-centered. Uh, yeah, yeah, okay, I, yeah, I can see that. Yeah, I can see that. Um, I just, I don't know, like, I don't know. The 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 dev team essentially, and put in people <laughs> who are actually passionate about the game and care about the game's longevity. Again,、um, that is like I think it's totally okay to have his own feelings about the game and stuff like that. I just wouldn't、uh, sure. put words into other people's mouths or feelings of other people's like、yeah. you know, assume their feelings or assume their. Because I mentioned earlier, like、uh, after talking to Des, I realized a lot, a bunch of stuff. They're they're passionate about what they're doing, and、mm -hmm. a few of them, and、uh, I'm going to say that a few of them do agree with us on the fact that they really don't like how the game's monetized, and they don't really have. As devs say in it, so again, just a lot of assumptions here, which、John、might has been just, like that for years. It's just、And、not productive. That is the state of the Elder Scrolls Online in its current state. Is not a game you should invest your time in or your money, for that matter. Yeah, you can kind of chill with the homies, you know, free to play stuff if you just want to, you know, chill in the Discord and talk.、Yeah. But when it comes to actually、um, playing the game and it being a very successful, fun game to play,、um, it's. It's not a game. It's it's not it's not a dying game. It's a dead game, guys. It's a dead game, and that's. Ah,、uh, I think more accurately, I actually, actually am going to be making a video,、um, not because of this. <laughs> I was planning on making a video about、um, some things like score pushing. I think the game's okay in terms of player pop. I mean, from what I can observe, I don't know the numbers. No one knows the numbers. I think 
there are certain parts of the game that are dead or certain activities or player-based activities are dead. Um, that doesn't necessarily mean the entire game is dead or forfeit. So that's... Mm-hmm. But I also understand, like, his... Again, sentiment. It's kind of where ESL was at. Yeah, there, there's some silver linings. I won't end on a completely terrible note. Okay. The new class was awesome. All right. Um, there's a terrible bug in new the class game is awesome. where the, the tracking on this beam ability can't hit people. But other than okay. that, the class is very well designed. The lore around it was awesome. The new Apocrypha area was pretty freaking cool. And the auditory to it is very nice. It's a very flashy class. Is it meant for a solo player? No, but I know the game isn't revolved around me, right? Okay. It's revolved around, you know, the community as a whole. Um, a huge W, a huge rare W for Zoss mm. in that matter. But the fact of the matter is, um, you, you can't you can't dip a turd in some icing and sprinkles. Oh yes, you can. Anything different than a turd? A turd's still a turd. I mean, okay. it's a turd. It's a turd in sprinkles and you know honey, <laughs> whatever the fuck you just dipped in it. Okay, that's that's what this game is. Like you, you, you can't. You, you guys get what I'm trying to say. Like, it's, <laughs> that's disgusting but that's uh you can't Shit, make a man. pig look like a how does it saying go make a pig look like a make a pig look like a princess as i say in the south <laughs> oh my god yes sir i'm from the south we got some sayings down know. here yes sir <laughs> uh, flowers and I don't, I don't know where I, I might cut this out in post credits i'm making myself look stupid but, did, but anyway spoiler alert he did not cut this out <laughs> Um, that, that, that's kind of where I'm at with the ESO. Okay. Um, so yeah. if you're looking to get into this game again, this is like my fourth time repeating myself. I, I would highly suggest against it. There are other games out there for now. I'm maining Diablo 4 for a while. I think Diablo oh, yeah. 4 is Diablo a, 4 is a great game. game. It's not an MMO. It's an ARPG, but I'm having a lot of fun with it. And we will be producing okay. a lot of content on it. A lot of builds, a lot of PVP. So if you guys are interested in that, just sub to the channel. It'd be awesome. So you're notified when I actually produce that content. But, All right. Uh, I've been rambling for like the the past hour or the past hour. half an hour now. Oh god! And, How uh, long? Yeah, it's uh, really pains me to make this video, but I, I kind of wanted to get this off my chest because it's been weighing on my mind for a very long time mm. now, and I just yeah, wanted I to give you guys as my my honest opinion on where the Elder Scrolls Online is and where it's headed, and it's not headed in a good place. It's already in a bad place, and it's not really going to get any better. So. Um, with all that being said, a huge and glorious shout out to my patrons and also my community members who continue to support me for whatever reason. <laughs> I really appreciate you guys very, very much. Mm. My new stream on both Twitch, YouTube, and also Kick. I try. That's been my assessment on. The actually, st- I actually saw him streaming on Kick because I was streaming on Kick uh, last week. Yeah, I remember. Uh, okay, so I don't know. What? I feel like I've wasted. How long is this video now? An hour and seventeen. <laughs> of my life because i'm just like what where's where's where is this where is this where where, where, where's the video title where's where's the essence of the video title bro uh i think it was fine like i'm gonna give some like constructive feedback here i think Mm -hmm. everything was on point we're going steady up until the 15 minute mark ish and then just kind of (laughs) like i don't know how to describe this like i don't know it was interesting. Derailed. I, it was just all over the place. No, uh, I don't know if it was all over the place. It was just like these really weird claims he made about a bunch of stuff that we don't have. Like, mm-hmm. it's okay to claim it. Maybe have some evidence for it. That's all I'm saying. Yeah. Like, when, you, when you're talking to me about, oh, ESO, they're not putting money back into ESO, the money they make from ESO, they're putting money into Starfield. I'm just like, huh? Starfield. Oh, they're putting money into Elder Scrolls mm-hmm. 6. Huh? Elder Scrolls 6? <laughs> if you had said, oh, they're putting money into the new IP they're working on, I'd be like, yes, there is some documents and evidence for that. <laughs> but what? Starfield? Where'd that come from? And then he said, Starfield's going to flop. And I'm just like, yeah, maybe. Who knows? Ooh, ooh, spooky. But um, what do you guys think? You owe me one hour back. You, you stream Ritz on 20 tunes. Very true. Very true. Sad to see you go. I, I mean, yeah. I mean, you know, if he doesn't want to make content for ESO, he doesn't have to make content for ESO. Mm-hmm. Uh, 
I did not waste my time on the second crop grade. <laughs> That's one way yeah, to I look at both it. Of my, I got both of my drops. Oh, man. Watch the first minute of his last... Do you have a video, do you have a video link? Give me a video link. Give us a video link. Yeah, give me a link. Or do I have to go through his channel? I'll, I'll go through his channel. Hold on. JTK is going to get for you. Uh, JTK is what? The video link. Oh, did he quit? Quit, quit? Oh, yeah. Oh, wait, I mean, he said in the video he's going to quit. So... He said he was going to pull back, yeah. Pull back or wean himself off, but now he's yeah, just straight he up quitting off. cold turkey. All right. Yeah, you love to see it. Literally the same day? Same day. I mean, it's one day ago. It could be like 10 hours apart. No, no, but the video we just watched was also one day ago. Right, right. It could be 10 hours apart. Be right? Weaning himself off. Like, technically, he could have uploaded this one that we just watched at, like, um, uh, let's say, like, I don't know, 12 p.m. You're or 2 p.m. Yeah, I know. You're missing the point. <laughs> in the same day, <laughs> yeah, whatever. he's gone from weaning himself <laughs> to quitting. Uh, all right, man. Uh, okay. Then quitting the other souls only after nine years. What now? Oh, God. Someone untimed him out. <laughs> I'm so sorry. I gotta turn that off. My bad, JTK. It's a new bot we're testing. Oh, God. How do I untime out somebody? Someone help. <laughs> what? Is it untime out? No way. There we go. Okay, I gotta fix that on the bot. But I already did it. My bad. Apparently, my bad. I was muted trying to tell you that, but I already did it. As soon as, like, I saw it happen... I told you. Okay, okay, it should be I, on. I All right, let's watch it. this video. Quitting ES after nine years, what now, girlfriend? <laughs> <laughs> Bro, I don't know. Like, eventually, I'm going to also move mm -hmm. on, too, right? I've been thinking about this sometimes, because, like, I've been kind of... Mm -hmm. I don't know if I'm burnt out. I'm just, like, unfulfilled right now. Or I just don't know what, what sure. to do. Like, how, how would I quit? Would I just be, like... Bye? It depends on your mood, to be honest. But it also, depends on the mood of the day. The mood of the day. I yeah, feel I like... Yeah, I feel like you could either just quietly leave or you could make a big dramatic video about it. It could go I want to make a... Way. I don't just... know. I, I feel like... You know what, what I kind of want to do? Fake my death? <laughs> You're like, oh, no. You know what? That's a really good fucking idea. Let's do it. Let's oh, fake my, my death. God. I will fake my death. Oh, so if I die... I, I was just trying to quit the so... <laughs> <laughs> But uh, I, I just I just feel like I probably you know I thought about this for quite some time because I also have to maintain the websites for ESO, so I don't know if I can mm -hmm. ever truly hard quit it forever. You yeah. know what I mean? I'll just probably go in maintenance mode. But I'll probably be like you know in terms of YouTube videos, I'll probably just be like yeah, uh, I'll probably just make it one big video, you know, just like covering my history of ESO, like what I experienced. Mm -hmm. 10 years, 10 plus years, 11 years or so, something like that. Anyway. Chain Chain says live stream it. You just wanted to live hey, stream on Hey, what's going on, guys? here. And I just wanted to give you guys a, a follow-up video to my, my previous video. Um, this is going to be an uh, emotional roller coaster. I can already feel it coming. Um, I just wanted to okay. say... I think in some ways I will also feel a little... I don't know about sure. sad. Just like... What's the, what's that yeah. what's that emotion you call when you're like you're saying goodbye to your friend and then it's like you don't know if you're gonna ever see each other again kind of thing what's that feeling called is that like typically sad that's not sad no 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 sad what? is like sad is like when your dog dies or something you know what I mean <laughs> you know what? or like you know you run out of ice cream I, I feel like that's sad I don't know what that what? emotion would be called here regretful I don't know about regretful. Well, it's still sad. We'll come up with a word for it later. What are you talking about? It's um, sad. The word so is sad. Oh, somber. Thank you. Somber. Oh there you go. There you go. Much for Gaslight. your overwhelming support. And uh, Yeah, it'd be, som it'd be a somber moment. Yeah, I woke up this morning expecting it'd be like, a metric. It'd be like Frodo leaving Middle Earth kind of thing. Like, you know, it's it's sad. Not, not sad, but like it's somber. He's going away. But at the same time, hey, adventure. New adventure. Crap load of subscribers, and it was, and actually, it was quite the opposite. A lot of you guys actually subbed. I expected to go in the comments and just read a bunch of negativity, and 
Okay. It was pretty much just, just all positive. And <laughs> bro. <laughs> I would just say something here. If if I ever if my YouTube comment section ever is positive, I will actually cry because my YouTube comment sections are never positive. <laughs> The ESO community. That's not is true. You get some positive comments. Some positive people. comments, but like ninety percent of it's like negative. You know, <laughs> it's amazing. You guys are are just freaking amazing, man. I I've made so many friends. Like I've always felt alone. Like that's just how I am. You know, very introverted. You know, very you know, very depressed most of the time. You know, I put on a nice facade for you guys, but. Uh, Sometimes that facade breaks down. Okay. And I feel it. This community has brought me back from the brink like so many times. And I appreciate every single one of you who watches my content, who has supported me, donated, talked to me in Discord, just just BSing around and it it hurts me so much. Okay. To pull away from this game because I feel like I'm abandoning you guys. I feel like <sighs> I, I, okay. I feel like you guys are the guy gave up. But I, the, this game doesn't deserve us, guys. It, this community should be treated so much better than it is, and it it just hurts me so so much, man such a beautiful game and and the players won nothing but to support and you know and and we just get crapped on man constantly and oh man i i mean he's crying like i i'm i'm feeling for him you know what i mean it's just like you know i'm not gonna make fun of him for crying <laughs> like you know, it's just like, bro, what's, what's up? Like, I don't know. It's just like, it's his feelings. I'm just like, okay, you know, handle he, I mean, people handle shit differently. It doesn't feel sincere. I, I, I just, I don't know. Maybe I'm really bad at emotions. I think I am bad at emotions, but I'm just like, thinking you kind of are. Am I? You think he's insincere? What? It just doesn't feel sincere. And my biggest, maybe this is me, but my biggest issue is the same day. <laughs> this video was posted the same day. Like, he yeah, went why from being like, that, this bro? game isn't for me. I need to wean myself off of it. The community is crap. The devs don't care. They're monotonizing. Like, all this negative stuff, and don't get me wrong, he is entitled to the his opinion. Yeah, are... Good for him. Great. That's wonderful. But then the same fucking day, he turns around <laughs> and he's got this video where he's just crying and emotional. I have the best uh, community guys, ever. Man, you, are you kidding me? You guys are you guys are cold. God damn. <laughs> I'm just like reading chat. The same day. The same day. He just called the community trash. Uh, and now he's like... I need to leave. You guys are so wonderful. Uh, well, I mean, I'm just like I, I. Can't. You can't what? Like, like it's it's not that he is crying or that he's upset about leaving the game. I get that. Okay. Like the times that I have taken a break from this game, I was emotional. I was upset. I got in my feels. I get it. But this does not feel completely sincere. Especially okay. when you know that that video where he just ripped the game apart from his perspective mm -hmm. and talked about how bad everything is, including the community. Yeah, but that, <clears throat> yeah, but that's his feelings. And now we're, which is fine, but now we're at crying because the community is so great. So, I think he's talking about his community in this context, which is still part of the ESO community. Well, man, that's a tough one for me, too, because it's like, is it really? You know what I mean? A large part of your community came from ESO. Yeah. No, 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 no. I just mean like a large when you... part of Skinny's community. In, no, ESO. In, in terms of perspective, part like of Viking. when like... you're just when you're distinguishing communities, when people say ESO, then, uh, how should I, like ESO fam or the like ESO community, they don't. Sure. I feel like people don't mean everybody. 
is what I'm saying here. I, pe I feel like people mean people they know. Does that make sense? Like, it's just... Sure. But then if you're talking about the community, then you are ideally talking about the community that you know, that you have experienced. Right. So how can you go from saying that that community is bad, your, your dealings with the community shows you it's a bad community, but then talk about how your community is great because your community ultimately came from that main content that you deal with. Hmm. I'm sorry the day he doxed Godzilla as a tail <laughs> That's also, yes, yes, that, that happened too. And that's also a part of the reason why he was on the, uh, the podcast. Uh, well, how long has it been? A year? A year. Yeah. It's been just so, over a year. <laughs> uh, yeah. I don't know. Well, like, like I said, it's, it's not because he's emotional or he's upset. He is free to feel his feelings by okay. all means feel your feelings mm -hmm. but it's so contradicting to a video he posted the same day yeah and that's where i questioned the sincerity of okay it. fair enough fair enough depression's a thing like i i don't want you guys to ever feel like ever feel like you're alone okay um, even though I'm pulling away from ESO, okay, it, it's not like it's going to be a, uh... If this video makes 40k not... views, it's not the last ESO video. Yo, YouTuber life like that, be like that, man. I like I'm disappearing off the face of the planet, okay? I still want you guys to send me clips. If you have build critiques, if you have whatever you need advice, I'm still going to be around, guys. You want to send me your PvP top 5, maybe we can start that back. But me... Playing the Elder Scrolls online, hmm. it, it's not going to happen, and it's probably not going to happen again for a very, very long time, guys. Okay. I cannot tell you how good it felt to hit the uninstall button for the last time. And I said that earlier, yep. too, during the start of the video. I feel like if I ever uninstall you, so it will be PTS included, and that's like 200 gigabytes. I, I bet it will feel really satisfying for me, too. <laughs> like, I'm, like, always running out of room on my SSD. How many times I've uninstalled this, this, this game? It's it's insurmountable. You uh, made a my, video my like this two months ago? Deep. No fucking way, bro. No Brad way. You, oh, you, my you, God. You've been, you've been a Yo, good I thought this was so just one video. Oh, no. It felt like it was such a relief, a burden lifted off my shoulders. And, and, and to see you yeah, guys in the comments sure. just supporting the crap out of me, I I thank you guys from the the depths of my soul. Like, and WTV, his comment section, I, I, for my I, comment section. I, I can't even put into words like how much you guys mean to me and how much the community means to me. Even you PvE nerds, like you, you guys mean the world to me. Wait, PvE like, nerds? Just, how I started my channel. This is he knows I'm watching. This is hard. Oh, the ones that he just the trashed. Online I stage. know, right? Like, yeah. wait a minute. You said sixty to seventy percent of us are macroing, bro. What the again, fuck? again. It's so contradicting. <sighs> and it's in the same day. It's not like he had a couple of days to reflect on. I mean, this. no. Some people think same fast. Day. You know. I don't know. Is like a high school the girlfriend. The door hasn't even moved and from the yeah, other video. The honeymoon phase. What? I mean, no. Hold up. I'm serious. Hold up. Hold up. Hold up. Wait. He's wearing the same shirt. I mean, okay, sure. Yeah, he's wearing the same shirt. The door hasn't moved. Has it now? Let me look. Wait. 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 He he moved the bottle and the cup. And the uh, coaster. And the, uh, what is that? Actually, I think he just moved them out of screen. Like, out, out of the shot. And that's a vape, by the way. Oh, that's a vape? That's a vape. That looks like a yeah. fucking Mentos container or something. No, it's a vape. Ah, uh, damn. It's awesome. You're having a good time at the beginning. But as you get older, you know, you you tend to grow apart. Your Your ideals change. And that's, that's oh, you got drunk. what that's has happened it? here. Um, I, maybe. I've tried to stay on the street. I see the bottle here, then, right here. Support I mean, my partner. That's possible. ESO. Alcohol and tends ESO to be yeah, you know, devolved maybe you got drunk. into this, maybe. This, this, this cash grab. I, I can't even recognize oh, it. Maybe it was from the morning after. Himself. Hard. 
to I mean, pull I woke away drunk. from <laughs> someone you've spent you know a Same. decade with almost. You know, it, 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 it's hard to break that habit, but the cycle has to break. But. Yeah, the morning so, after and myself and we've outgrown each other i think that's true for a lot of the community video. that um we've just grown apart okay and the direction of eso is just so, not meant for me and sense. it's not meant for a lot of people although it is meant for some people you know it's probably still a mass majority of people don't care about all of the behind the scenes and you know me being a little bit nihilistic you know i okay it's it's tough guys um it's tough to pull away from this and you guys don't deserve that um i'm not abandoning you or anyone i will still be here i will still be streaming regularly it just will not be eso feel free to ask me about eso comments builds i'll do build critiques send me a build on eso editor i'll make a link or something a community post you guys and start uploading those and i will give you my honest opinion he helps build free of charge someone mentioned to me yesterday free that of charge. people charge Holy shit. for for uh for build critiques like what like what what is this game fuck? turn in who the fuck charges for build critiques i feel like this is <laughs> shit i'll review your builds for free <laughs> you know what i was actually talking about this earlier when i was gonna, gonna go off on a tyrant i'm gonna make a new video series on eso um yeah. it's just gonna be me instead of me making builds i'm gonna be using people's builds and then like rating them like a fucking restaurant review you know what i mean okay yeah yeah not like an intoxic way or anything. I just want an like actual honest kind of like review. Into man, like Jesus Christ. <laughs> sure. But um, yeah. going forward, we will be covering a lot of stuff. Critiques. A lot of stuff. Uh, I'm gonna try to stay away from the uh, first person shooter stuff because first that's not really stuff. your guys' forte. I'll probably make a uh, a separate YouTube channel for that uh, just for you. You, you, you want to play FPSs with me? There, you know, Anyone? Apex, <laughs> you know, Overwatch. I'll, I'll have a separate channel for you guys, more than likely. Overwatch. Um, but Woo! we are going to be sticking to ARPGs like Diablo 4. And we'll be uh, trying out other MMOs to kind of see where things lie. Uh, From a dead game to another dead game. <laughs> Hopefully, Throne of Liberty is an absolute bust. For and those of you we'll who just keep on the really run, wanted guys. Overwatch um, Dark shit. and Darker is coming out. A phenomenal game if you guys have not heard of it. It is like... One of the best games I've ever played. It is super fun. Guys, the TLDR and that. It's, it's What's like a dungeon game? crawler, PvP, PvE, battle royale, extraction, like type Dungeons and Dragons type of game. It's freaking cool, man. Cool. Um, but we, we, I will be active in the community. Um, I'm not going anywhere. Um, it, this sucks. Uh, this is very hard for me. And I, again, okay. I don't want you guys to think you're alone. Um, if you ever need to talk about anything, um, I'm here for you guys. Um, That's mental great. illness is um, a big thing in my family. And um, I, I feel like The Elder Scrolls Online has contributed to a lot of my depression as of late. What? Um, gamers typically, typically um, uh, our, our brains are different. I don't know if you guys know. I, I mean. Has ESO ever oh boy. made. Has it has ESO ever made anyone depressed? Uh yeah, I think so. <laughs> but I don't think in the way he's talking about. I think interactions yeah. with people. Yes. But not the game itself, if that makes sense. I don't know if that makes sense to anyone else. I'm sure you know some of us are pretty special, mm -hmm. but uh our brains are wired differently. If you're a gamer from inception, oh you you've evolved quite differently. So Okay. Essentially. If you want to know why that, you're sad that, and depressed, all I don't time, think that's any scientific basis. Why, and you feel like uh, uh, everything you're doing is an absolute waste of time. What's the point? Well, so there's okay. this dopamine, and dopamine? Your serotonin. Serotonin. Dopamine is your temporary fix. There's more that chemicals in thing. that. A lot of people confuse dopamine with serotonin. Serotonin, on the other hand, what is the your. Why are we? Why, why, why have we gone <laughs> from. Oh my God, what? I knew this was going to happen. <laughs> Yo, what the heck is going on? I knew this was going to take a fucking left turn into the middle of nowhere. <laughs> what did we go now, from? Please, like... please tell me. What? Where what? is the sincerity in this video? He uh, went from like crying and super emotional. Now he's fine. And he's talking about serotonin and dopamine and the scientific differences between the two. Excuse me? Maybe he's bipolar. What? I mean, Maybe. <laughs> what? <laughs> I'm just saying. <laughs> I can't. No, I'm agreeing with you. I'm not. I'm not. I'm not <laughs> this is so annoying. I can't. I just. I just. Yeah. I mean, I did the. You know, like uh, it's like whiplash. You know, I'm just like, what's going on here? All of a sudden? I. I mean, I don't know. Maybe he's just like rambling. I don't know. And so sometimes I ramble too. So. 
attachments. You're yeah, but at least your ramblings right? are in the same sort of realm of the happen? original topic. Wait, is he explaining how brain chemicals work? He literally is. That's what I was just telling you. He's Good. now telling you the scientific is you will play video games, play video games. Two. That's your dopamine fix. And then over time, um, this is what I've recognized in myself. Over time, your serotonin levels are going to drop because you start doing less things outside. You're more introverted. You, you stop going to the gym. You stop going out. You start getting anxious. You start getting worried. You, mm. you start freaking okay. out, going out in public. And that gets worse and worse and worse over time. So I when you start feeling those feelings, you jump back into gaming just so you games. can kind of ignore it. <laughs> so you'll have this super high dopamine levels and super low serotonin levels. You know, and that is what is going to eat you alive. I'm super high dopamine and serotonin it, levels it will, watching it will this video. So. Um, it's important My to find, I mean, I'm no psychologist, but I'm telling you guys, you thing? need to find a balance. Go touch some grass. Go go, go buy a oh, Gengar well, plushie. No Give it a few rubs. You know what I mean? Um, that's also something I'll be working on myself, and I, I encourage a lot of you guys, if, if you are feeling lonely or anxious or, or just terrified or, or just, just, just depressed, um, break away from the cycle. Just do something different. Huh? Take a walk. Try holding yeah, your breath for 30 seconds at a time, 45 seconds at a time, a minute at a time. Eat vegetables Get your, uh, your, work disclaimer. because that's the cure for depression. Disclaimer, please never take <laughs> clinical advice from... Me or YouTubers. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Somebody clip this for me. <laughs> please, Disclaimer. I'm begging you. Please do not follow any medical psychiatric advice from me or anyone on the internet, potentially. You know, Act together. Unless they're like certified. Yeah, that's, that's what I'm going to be working on. And, this man um, is Just not. sit outside and eat a banana, bro. <laughs> yeah, I'm kind of rambling at this solved. point. But uh, the, the, the direction of the channel, I'm still going to be here. I'm not going anywhere. I, I think you got <sighs> I so much for your overwhelming support. And, and advice and friendship over these past years. And uh, I hope that I can turn this channel into something great. I want to Good. build it up to where we yeah. have an amazing community who does nothing but support sure. each other and Hell watches yeah. each other's back. So we'll see um, how the channel turns out in the next year or two years. Uh, maybe it'll pop off, maybe it'll die. I don't know. But okay. um, I know sure. that The Elder Scrolls I'll... Online is doing nothing but holding myself as well as this community back, as well as the channel back. And, uh, it's got to go. It's time to break up. Um, for those of you who still enjoy the game, you know, keep on enjoying I the game. I bet if you shared I'm his opinion about the shade. moon landing, his channel would really pop mm -hmm. off. <laughs> Yo. You guys, if this is what truly brings you happiness, then by all means, play The Elder Scrolls Online. It is a beautiful game. It has just been run into the ground by the wrong people. So, with all that being said, guys, I appreciate the support. And if you need anything, Please just reach out. You're not alone. I don't know. Oh, Shane, Shane, thank you. I don't know. I don't know what. I don't. I thought this was going to be about eso and all that like specific strictly eso and stuff like that and maybe some but some wild claims here and there i don't know uh it's always a wild ride watching Horcrux's videos that's for sure mm -hmm. to say the least well Dude, that was um, a roller coaster. Dude, Twitch, Twitch ads are ridiculous. No matter the setting, bro. I don't know if someone can relay that. Like I've tried minimal, and it just still does like pre like weird shit. But anyway, I don't know. My conclusion is, I think there was no point to this video apart from repeating the same grievances. Um. Can't speak to the wild claims of ESO's financial <laughs> transactions. Uh, or the cheating in gamers. Or the cheating PVEers that has also affected PVPers. <laughs> and PVPers looking at PVEers cheating and say, yeah, I can do that PVP. <laughs> and some other wild claims, like, I don't know. But in general, I understand the sentiment, and that's all I can say. Mm -hmm. that's, that's really it.